Welcome Ridge Life, I'm Tim and today we're at the Log Home Build Site and we are under attack. Attack by Army Worms. They say if you've got a few army worms, just in a, a square foot or so, you've got a problem. Well, we have got more than a few. We have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my gosh, just nine that I can see. If you get, look at it, look. Oh man, there's all over our yard here, just crawling and taking care of this grass, eating it up. We have got to remedy this situation before we lose the, the north side of our property. combat those army worms we're going to use car barrel 4l this is like the liquid version of seven dust i know a lot of you use seven on your gardens to take care of all those insects well car barrel 4l is the chemical in seven this is a liquid version um, a generic if you will you get it from a co-op or a farm ag store 2.5 gallons will treat a lot of acres for army worms and uh, it treats all kinds of insects chiggers and ticks so we're going to get rid of a bunch of things today now guys i I did find army worms in the Ridge farmhouse uh, lawn as well. So down here at the log home build site, we had like 12 worms per square foot. Up there, we've only got like three or four. So we're gonna catch that ahead of time. The grass can stay green. Down here, it's almost all brown, but we're gonna get rid of uh, what we can to keep the rest of it from, uh, from turning brown as well. So guys, make sure when you're Working with chemicals, you wear safety goggles, wear latex or rubber gloves, keep yourself safe. I don't want you getting hurt. And to apply our car barrel 4L, we're gonna use a 30 gallon tank sprayer. I'm uh, gonna tow, tow this behind the ATV. 
And I'm gonna mix two to four quarts, again, per acre, two to four quarts mixed in with our 30 gallons. I got one acre on this side and one acre on that side. And then we'll go to the Ridge Farmhouse and uh, I probably won't take you on that ride, but I'll show you out here. We're gonna take you along for a ride, do a little time lapse of us spraying it all down, taking care of these army worms. So let's get it done. I'm gonna clean off my container, make sure I don't get anything down inside of it, any kind of brush or foreign material to get caught up in the pump. Don't wanna do that. Once you get that cleaned up, I wanna make sure that I, I fill, I wanna make sure that I fill the tank about half full, two thirds with water. That way I'm not creating a lot of foam when the chemical mixes with the water. If I just put the chemical in first, oh, it'd froth and foam up. Now guys, there's another little trick to killing army worms. Dawn dishwashing detergent. Just a little bit of Dawn dishwashing detergent. When it touches an army ant, or army worm, man, it takes it takes them out. So at the very end, I'm gonna put some Dawn in here. Very small concentration, maybe just an ounce or two. Uh, do it at the end so it doesn't foam up. It's just soap, and it will just be one more thing to take care of them army worms. So let me get this about half full. We'll get two to four quarts of there into here, and a little bit of Dawn start spraying. Tank's half full and ready. We've got our Carbell 4L shaken up. I'm gonna do three quarts to this 30 gallons. So I've got eight ounce measuring cup here and it's uh, 32 ounces to a quart. And I'm gonna do three quarts. So eight will go into 32 four times. So three times four is 12. So I need 12 of these in here to get our proper dose. So I got my uh, goggles on. I've got my um, gloves on. Again, it looks like chocolate milk here, doesn't it? One. Whoa, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Twelve, all right, so we got that all good. And I'm gonna be using this at the uh, log, uh, our, uh, our property here in just a little bit. So now, I'm going to finish filling this up, and then I'm gonna add some, uh, I've got some generic Dawn. I'm gonna add a couple ounces of this just to top it off. Got our generic Dawn. Again, just a couple ounces of that, few ounces into there. That will top that off with some clean water all the way to the top. And we will be ready to eradicate some army worms. Well, there was one acre. I've got it about another acre to go, so I'll fill this back up and do it again. But I can already see them pesky army worms starting to curl up. The ones that were out and got directly sprayed, they just started to curl up. So any, any other ones that come out towards the, as the sun goes down, they come out in morning and evening, it seems like. And um, uh, when they come in contact with this uh, carbol 4, uh, 4L, they will shrivel up and die just, just like, uh, just like that. So we are excited 
that these guys are gone. I can still see a few of them moving, but they won't be moving long. So until next time, I hope everyone uh, enjoyed this video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to Ridge Life, please take time to do so now. Hit the notification bell to be notified anytime a new video comes out. And as always, I hope everyone has a blessed day and go Ridge Life. You can see them writhing and reeling. They do not like getting sprayed and they are dying, dying, dying. And I am happy for it. So good riddance, you nasty army worms.